Cadillac Queen, y'all hear me knocking, well let me in. So I can see you too. A radiator in. With the hose, upper hose. With the dual electric fans. Yes, sir. Only thing now I gotta do is I dropped it in yesterday. I just didn't give y'all no footage. I'm sorry about that. But what I still gotta do to the fan is change the um, uh, hook up the relay assembly. And you see it's a double core, a uh, triple core, third, three core radiator, dual electric fans. Yes, sir. She in. I may either have to make a custom custom top brackets just to hold it flush through the west lane. So if I hit a bump, I ain't got to worry about going nowhere. But yeah, YouTube, as y'all can see, upper radiator in, the flex radiator, upper radiator hose. I just got to hook the, um, the relay assembly up to the fans to get those fans working real good. Drop the gas tank. Chain, put the new tank in and send the unit. Uh, redo my fuel pump. Put my new fuel pump in. Redo my lines down there. Yes, y'all can see I got those lines cut. So that's going to the uh, old gas tank with the with the to the bad fuel. So y'all know I'm gonna uh, change the tank out first. May drop the tank today. But yeah, man. Y'all can see, man. Do electric fans, they in, man. Radiator is in. And she looking good, too. Project B.O.B., she coming along righteous, man. Oh, I started up and I moved her, too, as well, YouTube, yesterday. Got my yard cut, so I had to move my car for the line, man, to come through here, cut the grass. Oh, uh, yeah, man, the belt, the power sterning belt, she keep popping off, man. But she don't have a problem turning, I guess, because it's the alternator belt is hooked up to the power sterning as well. But I got to figure out why that belt keep popping off. Obviously, it's not tight enough, so we'll get that done, too, as well. I still got to change out the fuel filter. That's why those vice grips is on there. Um... Also got to change out the PVC valve. Over and out, YouTube.